Hey, if you like my content and you want to support my channel while supporting your own channel, check out my Apex Legends thumbnail template store down below. Since inception of Apex Legends, Raze has always been a fan favorite among the community, but why exactly does the Apex community love this character so much? In my opinion and simply put, Raze is genuinely attractive and not overly dumb like a certain legend we know. Respawn knows exactly what they're doing, and being attracted to a video game character is pretty much the norm these days. This isn't the 90s, and who's to blame them? Raid is pretty awesome looking. Her distinctive attractive draw comes from the UK originated subculture of goth, so if you got a thing for goth girls, it's no surprise that she's your main. But between me and you guys on the channel, I kinda got a thing for them too. And no, it's not a phase, I'm a 90s baby, and if you remember the original Teen Titans, I'm pretty sure you could guess my favorite character. But besides the obvious goth influence, the character's visual aesthetic embodies is a lot more popular culture design that adds to her likeness. For OG players who remember her iconic ninja run or the more familiar culture Naruto run, a lot of players loved her for that simple reason. When I first booted up Apex when the first hour it came out, my eyes were instantly drawn to her. I didn't know what her abilities were, all I knew is that her design was awesome looking, she looked like a ninja, and her voice was ominous as f Respect to Chantal Vensenton for voicing this beloved character. And just like everyone else, that pretty much sold me on the character initially. A goth ninja, honestly, what is there not to like? But apart from her unorthodox design, it was truly her playstyle that made her a fan favorite. After her release, players spent months analyzing her kit, learning her weaknesses while maximizing her strengths. Alongside Bangalore and Octane, Ray was obviously a DPS character, and a very good one at that. If you're a rate main, you know it's your job to initiate the fight, play your opponent's peripherals, and shut out as much damage as possible. You are the aggressor, the one on the team that's gonna uneven the odds to your squad's advantage. This is one of the reasons she's so beloved. She's quick on her feet and has the capability to dip out of fights with the use of her ability into the void. Ray's addictive gameplay appeal lies in being extremely aggressive while using her abilities quickly and effectively. You know that satisfying sensation you get after knocking the second person on the enemy team and barely escaping from the third, phasing back to your teammates, knowing you did your part. But a true sweat dripping ball headed Ray doesn't overly rely on her phase ability, they have the immense skills to hold out to the very end, buying time till it's imperative to use their abilities to get out. Because a true Ray main knows that overcommitment is where her downfall lies, that's where the wannabes mess up, and I'm one of them. But with all that being said, Ray's appeal is no mystery honestly, she has that star of the show main character vibe that makes her irresistible. But she's an interdimensional skirmisher, it just sounds freaking cool. Plus she has one of the slickest looking heirlooms in the game, not to mention the most legendary skins in the game also. Just look at all this gold, I don't even own them all. There's a lot that makes this legend so appealing, but I'm not gonna make this video super long. But what makes you love Raid? Comment down below.